Thanks for joining us on News Nation Rush Hour. I'm Nicole Hurley, and data taken from disgraced attorney Alec Murdoch's car may help piece together the timeline on the night his wife and son were murdered back in 2021. Today, an FBI car forensics specialist testified that the data processed from the car shows when it went in and out of park mode between 9.06 and 10.13 the night of the murders. It's a critical time period in this case. Jurors also were able to hear from Alex financial about his financial crimes, including from the people he stole from. So joining us for more insight on the trial is Eric Bland. He is the attorney representing Gloria Satterfield's family. Gloria was the former housekeeper for Murdoch's family who died after a fall inside the home. So Eric, you've supported this family throughout much of this saga. Talk about how significant this moment was for her son on the stand today. Uh, thanks for having me on, Nicole. Uh, her son, Tony, was on the stand today and really laid out uh, the exploitation that Alec did against him and his brother, who's a vulnerable adult. Um, Gloria Satterfield was a 20 year member of that household as both a housekeeper and helped do the child rearing. She worked for many of the Murdoch's babysitting or uh, going away and watching uh, dogs or different things on vacation for this family. She was part of the family and she died on February 26, 2018 as a result of a fall that occurred at the Mazelle property uh, allegedly at the hands of the Murdoch dogs. Alex Murdoch then um, orchestrated uh, a lawsuit with his friend Corey Fleming, a legal claim, which $4.3 million was recovered from Alex's various insurance companies. And the boys got nothing. And the jury heard it today. And I'm telling you, it was rapt attention where they really looked over at Alex and said, what kind of despicable human being could take that kind of money from family member, quasi family member and clients. Our client was compelling. Uh, the defense fumbled. They were trying to object as much as they could. They were trying to prevent the testimony. But what has happened in the past two days, Nicole, with the the car expert from the FBI, who was a, a really neat wonk for the jury to see how these computers turn on and off and it killed Alex's timeline to the two most powerful witnesses, Ronnie Crosby, his law partner, and today Chris Wilson, his best friend, who really, in addition with Tony Satterfield, portrayed Alex as just a, a serial thief, mm -hmm. a guy that will steal from family members, law partners, clients, and friends. It, it's stunning. And the state is trying to link this theft that it was pressure packed on Alex which caused him to trip a switch and kill his wife and uh, son on June 7th. So, Eric, you know, you describe him as a serial thief, you know, more than $4 million yeah. never given to the Satterfield no, family. He stole a total of 10 million, Nicole. So a total of 10 million, million stolen. So the defense today, though, said this is a murder trial. It's not sure. a financial fraud trial. But do you think the prosecution is doing a good job of proving to the jury that Alec is capable uh, of something this heinous when it comes to these murders? Well, admittedly, I'm biased because of my connection to this case representing the Satterfields and a number of other victims. I think they are doing a good job. There's a reason why motive is not an element of murder because some people have different motives. You know, we want a perfect motive. If somebody's gonna kill somebody, we want it to be a real just reason he took the life of somebody else's uh, son or something like that, and there was a revenge for that. But sometimes murder is not clean. Sometimes people kill for the strangest reasons that, that normal people would say, why would you do that over that? Um, the issue is Alex was under intense pressure from his law firm, and these financial pressures were bearing down on him. And murder sometimes, Nicole, is nothing more than problem solving. And so he made a decision, the state is saying, to kill his wife and kid to buy him time. And Annette Griswold, a witness yesterday, did confirm that, that the law firm rallied around Alex and his brother and did not press him on the theft that was taking place for months on end after the murders. Yeah, we will We will certainly see how this plays out. Uh, Eric Bland, attorney representing Gloria Satterfield's family, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. 
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.